What's up everybody, Austin here with the Evolving Tank. This week we're adding an awesome fish into the 400 gallon aquarium, one I've known I've wanted since the very beginning. Roseline Sharks, also known as Denison Barbs. I always thought these guys were some of the coolest fish out there, and what they look like right now is nothing compared to how nice they'll look once they're all grown up. Right now, I'm adding them into a quarantine tank because I need to make sure they're healthy and don't have any diseases or parasites that would pass on to the other fish in my 400 gallon aquarium. I use three medications to get this done. Paracleanse for parasites, Maricin for bacterial infections, and Icax for ick and a few other possible diseases. My last video covered my quarantine process, so if you want a review of the complete process, I'm leaving a card to that video on this video now. But long story short, the medications had to be added and the fish would be in that water for a week. I actually picked up six of these guys initially. From what I saw online, people suggested keeping at least that many. But as I sat and thought about it and read more about them online, I thought these would look even better and probably show more natural behavior if I had a couple more. So a few days into the quarantine of these fish, I ended up going back to the store and got five more for a total of 11. That did of course mean I had to start the quarantine process all the way over from the beginning, so I changed water and did just that, but I think it's worth it to have what I really want. All of the fish seemed healthy even going into quarantine, but after that last incident where I thought my Congo Tetra were healthy only to find out they had ick, scared me straight. Luckily it was just ick that time and I was able to get a larger supply to treat a 400 gallon aquarium, but that could have quickly gotten very expensive if I had allowed a more serious disease to get into that tank. Once these guys are full grown they'll actually get up to around 6 inches and they grow relatively quickly. Most people suggest they only be kept in aquariums at least 55 gallons and 4 feet long since they're fast swimmers and will appreciate the space. So I'm hoping they'll love the 8 foot long 400 gallon. And they're not necessarily a schooling fish but they do shoal meaning they tend to hang out around each other. They don't seem to be picky eaters and will eat most foods and as far as the temperature I've seen ranges online stating they could be as cold as 60 degrees or as hot as 80 degrees and they live up to around 5 years. Most importantly, they're pretty peaceful. They should get along with everybody I currently have in my tank without any issues. I did give them a little snack on their last day of quarantine, a Sarah Onip tablet. I love giving these because they're a way to get the fish to come right up to the glass for some good shots. These guys started out a little cautious. They're still pretty small, but you could already see the color starting to come in. And they'll only get better with time. And then, finally, it was time to get these guys into the 400 gallon. I transported and would add these guys into the new tank using a plastic bag instead of the usual glass container you would see me with. That's because I wouldn't want them to hurt themselves by swimming into the side of a hard container. Finally, they were in, and they look great in here. Of course, just like with any new fish, they were a little stressed with the sudden change in environment, but I know, with time, they should hopefully thrive in here. While these guys were quarantining earlier, I actually added new plants into this 400 gallon aquarium. Let's go back and look at those now. The first one here is one I've actually never seen before, and from what I was told, it's relatively new to the hobby. This is Piptospatha ridleyi. It's apparently in the same family as Bucephalandra, and it prefers to be attached to rocks or wood. We'll have to see how it grows. Music 
Next was Crypt Lutea. I planted two bunches of this plant in the tank and this will be the first time it's going in here. Then there was Crypt Lucens. This one I do already have some of in this tank. It's one of the slow carpeting plants I've added, and I decided I wanted a few more. Next up was Crypt Pink Flamingo. I've had some of these in the original build of this tank, but they didn't survive that whole disaster we had where we lost most of the fish. I'm adding in a few and we'll see if they take off. This is another one we used to have but lost in that disaster. This is Vesuvius Sword. This plant here isn't the healthiest looking, but I like how they look when they're full grown in so much that we're gonna see if we can get this one to bounce back. I also bought another variety of Ludwigia to mix with my Ludwigia Mini Super Red, but I don't actually have the specific name, so if you know what this one is, or what it looks like, please leave it down in the comments, I'd really appreciate it. Then we have some Hygrophilia salicifolia, also called Hygro Blue. To go along with it, I have some Hygrophilia cordata red. Both of these Hygrophilia will be mixed and planted together just to create a different look. The next issue I have to address has to do with the Dwarf Aquarium Lily and the Red Tiger Lotus. While the plants themselves were big and beautiful, their lily pads were getting to the point where they were blocking light from the plants under them. I was starting to even notice the stem plants not growing as quickly as they normally did and they were starting to grow more algae on their leaves. So I was going to have to cut them back. One thing about both the Red Tiger Lotus and the Dwarf Aquarium Lily is once you allow the lily pad to reach the surface, all the future leaves will grow to the top too. Cutting these off should also help us train the plants to grow bushier and let us control just how high they grow. You'll see some of these lily pads have holes that have formed in them anyway. If we do let them grow back in the future, we'll make sure they grow back in healthy. Please consider subscribing if you want to join me on this tank's journey. See you all next time.